I'm going to tell you about a woman born in 1886. She lived in Burnley, in this giant house that you're probably not going to miss. Her name was Rachel K. Shuttleworth. And let me tell you this, that the things she did in a lifetime weren't just cool. Nah, they were epic. Now you might be thinking, well, she's got nothing to do with me. Just you wait and see. You may disagree. Firstly, Rachel wasn't afraid to stand up and fight at a time when women weren't being given many rights. She was sick of seeing the lack of freedom that young girls weren't being given. So she went around the country convincing local leaders about what she thought to be true. That if boys get to go and have fun at a group like Scouts, there should be a group for girls too. In the early 1910s, she became a founding member of the Girl Guides Association, which is still running today, all across the nation. The guides gave them a chance to adventure outdoors and Rachel, being the queen that she was, even let some of the groups camp out on the grounds of Gawthorpe. You might have been a guide yourself growing up, just like me. And we have Rachel to thank for that, for making it a possibility. She was charitable and independent and cared about the well-being of others. She volunteered at maternity centres and the House of Help for Unmarried Mothers. Being a single gal herself, which was deemed to be mega weird at the time, she didn't let the pressures of society make her less confident or any less kind. In fact, Rachel wasn't bothered about being quirky or being a little bit intense because she didn't just have a hobby. No, she was absolutely hardcore obsessed with anything to do with crafts and fashion, but especially embroidery items. She managed to collect over 30,000 individual pieces in her lifetime. She wasn't just a massive hoarder though, she was a master crafter herself. She figured out that sewing actually helped improve her mental health. She set up a charity in 1959 to share her collection and to teach others to sew. Not just to show off her walking wardrobe, but to see the community grow. And some of Rachel's collection is still on display at Gawthorpe Hall. And it's considered the best textile selection outside of the capital. So you don't need to travel down to London when you've got it all right here. On your doorstep, in your county, in the best place. Lancashire.